In today's episode, we're going to reveal a number of new content updates for early access, plus a few more visuals. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 8. Um, we've got a lot to talk about today, so uh, without further ado, we'll get on and start um, modifying the uh, new um, oxygen production uh, facility I've just import, uh, created here. Uh, basically we need to um, make sure that uh, we can um, sort out this oxygen level at some point quite soon. We've got a lot to talk about today primarily uh, following the um, live streams that have been going on um, with uh, the, the, the developers about what changes are we can expect to happen um, with the new upgrade and it's been very exciting uh, in the sense that uh, uh, it's really got me fired up uh, looking forward to uh, uh, the new um, content that uh, we'll be able to uh, enjoy um, moving forward uh, so let me just think what I'm doing here so that's going to be oxygen so the gas needs to come out uh, no I want that the other way around um, yeah, so is the content of uh, what's uh, what, what's going to be new, etc., um, and what we can expect to see. So, at this moment in time, um, there has been I think two or three uh, live streams that have occurred um, that have a given us the uh, insight into. Um, um, the oops, don't go under there into the agricultural release as they're calling it um, and what that is actually going to involve for us uh, and what we can expect to see uh, of which I'm really really excited about um, the first thing that's uh, or there's two things that really bug me at the moment in this game uh, oh actually let's put power in um, they can get on with that while I'm talking. Uh, so we're going to have um, you two on there. And you two are going to go to this disconnect. Disconnect wires. Let's go to wires. So we're going to disconnect that. Connect you there. Wires. Yeah, separate these. Um, yeah, so uh, what What really are the... the t Ooh, that one's done. Let me just do that, sorry, very quickly. And did it in the wrong place. Straight. Why is it when you want them really to come and do something quite quickly, they, uh, they're slow about it? Done it now? Yeah, they have. Okay, so we'll get this on. Right, okay, so that will be there. That would have done that. It's a piping, so let's chuck uh, those in. Let's just get that one. There. So can they access everything? Other than that's not being completed either. Okay. It's fine. Just need to give them access to it, and then we can talk freely. Do that. Okay. And well, theoretically, they should be able to reach all that and do everything there. Right. Done all, done all the power, haven't I? Plumbing, uh, sort of pipes, yeah, that's fine. Mm, that looks okay, and power, yeah, that looks okay. Right, okay, so one of the biggest bugbears uh, you may already know is uh, this printing pod. 
um, when I don't want to have a new dupe coming in uh, it's a case of uh, the no that noise in the background really really irritates me so um, if you're like me and you don't want to take every single dupe whenever it's available then they're going to give you the option to be able to switch this off um, so that uh, you don't have that constantly um, whirring in the background another uh, wonderful things that are changing is the massage table at the moment you have to do a lot of manual work by assigning your dupes depending on who who oh, honey I've not I've never put her on there before uh, you have to um, assign them to the table um, so they actually use it and then once they're de stretch move, move somebody else but they're changing that so that you've got a sliding scale Um, so you can have uh, either you have your base running at uh, maximum stress slow that down a bit to make sure to see what's going on here you can have your base running at maximum stress uh, so you can set when they come on to say um, I don't know 80% um, or 90% as it were um, and then you can set when they come off there to uh, say uh, I don't know um, 70% so you can keep your base running at uh, the highest point of stress um, and see how that works. Or you can just say, right, you know what, I want you to be going on there where you hit 30 or 40 or 50 percent and, and then stay on there until you're no longer stressed. So it's a case of uh, that little management will make things a lot uh, easier to work, to work with. Uh, but one thing I've always been surprised about with these massage tables is that there's no power requirement. And that's changing. So they're going to put a uh, power requirement. I think it was about 120 um, uh, watts, similar to um, I think these valves. Uh, that uh, the power usage is that's going to be required on those. Now, um, as I said before, it's the agricultural uh, release, which is also the early access. So what's that going to mean? It's going to mean that they are changing the way that all the uh, farming uh, so your your mealwood and your bristle blossom operates um, that you're going to have uh, new yields associated to those so if you just plant them and don't do anything you'll get a normal yield if you plant them so maybe supply them with uh, fertilizer you'll go up to a second yield let me get rid of that it's come around way too quickly um, if you plant them uh, fertilize them and then get the pressure and temperature right for them you'll get a higher yield uh, so what each plant um, yields are and what you get for those um, I think is yet to be determined because they haven't shown everything just yet. But what they have shown us is two new plants uh, which I'm quite excited about. The first one's going to be growing in this uh, in environment here because it likes to have a warm uh, environment so it needs to think between 35 and 45 degrees and it's called a pickery pepper plant I think I'll call it the pepper plants moving forward because I'll get it wrong every time uh, but the thing about this plant is it grows upside down I might have a picture of it so I'll put it on uh, if I ha if I can um, so and that will also require irrigation so, so how do you irrigate a plant that's upside down well they've introducing two new farm tiles of course so you can have a standard farm tiles and a hydroponic farm tiles and you can be able to rotate those so that you can place those upside down to so this pepper plant can grow and this pepper plant will require you to provide it fertilizer in the form of polluted water so that's a good use for polluted water the other new plant is going to be within the ice biome so he's going to like uh, really cold environment and he's actually going to be called a sleet wheat plant and he requires uh, irrigation with clean water so another usage of clean water that's uh, you're going to be no I don't want to do that um, so that they're two things that I'm really looking forward to so with those in mind um, I don't know whether you guys bother with the cooking station uh, but the cooking station is going to 
become more important moving forward uh, because we've now got four plants which means the dupes have got potential recipes to work with so instead of just having that one uh, mushy bar um, uh, fried mushy bar um, option to, to, to create in your barbecue you're gonna have six so you've got five new ones uh, the first one's going to be like a gristle berry, which I'm not sure whether it's a blossom berry that's grilled or whether it's a monk root. I think it's probably more likely to be a, bros a, blo a bristle blossom that's deep fried, should I say. Um, then you're going to have a barbecue, which is meat. So at the moment, the only meat source is from our hatches. So you kill those, you get meat. So you can either eat it raw or you can cook it into a barbecue. Uh, we're also going to see some... Uh, breads so we're going to have a frosted bread and we're going to have a pepper bread and then the um the creme de la creme of uh processed food as it were or prepared cooked food is going to be a zesty salsa so what does that really mean for the dupes you're now going to have 15 different food diets that the dupes will want to eat from ranging from really poor quality up to your uh, zesty salsa which is going to be a really high quality which means that as you bring in dupes you're going to have to be starting to think about what food you're giving them um, and they will get uh, stressed associated to it if they don't if they're not able to eat the food that they want to eat uh, let me just uh, make sure this has got you know what you can just empty you can eat whatever you want because I just want to, I want coal because I'm running out. So that will make things a lot uh, more interesting. And I'm not sure about yourself, but uh, I know that uh, a few people have managed their bases uh, using the stress response of vomiting. Uh, I'm sorry to say that they are changing the way that works. So it's very voracious on how it vom the, the, the dupes vomit at the moment. So it allows you to, to create your own uh, water, uh, polluted water from them urinating and vomiting at the same time, etc. Um, they're actually going to reduce the amount of vomit that the dupes um, give out, but also they are going to introduce um, a calorie cost associated to when a dupe is sick, which means you they'll start uh, eating the calories after... Um, What's going on here no gas intake uh, let's just have a quick scan of this um, yeah so those um, come on. how I not put that in how stupid am I get everything else in place and then I forget to put the main bit in ah right let's get that priority nine and we can get this up and running um, yeah so that is gonna make a big difference to it uh, they're also introducing two new responses uh, there's going to be an ugly crier, which uh, means that uh, your dupe will have a breakdown uh, and there'll be floods of tears everywhere and then they'll walk around with an ugly face. Now the cost associated with that ugly face reduces your decor. Um, so in some bases it won't be so much of an issue, uh, but in others where decor is a problem and you are having problems with your dupes being stressed associated to it, then that will just add to that so to help you manage so it's really important for you to manage it the four uh, sorry the second new uh, stress um, stress uh, response to stress should I say is going to be a binge eater so they're going to be going and eating your food so that'll be that cost so the things to to uh, to uh, look for to, forward to now you saw me mess around with the um, power wattage on these cables. It's uh, been doing my head in where I can't seem to get it running uh, quite right. Um, and I think, you know, actually I've just realised I've not. Let me de disconnect these. Because uh, I don't want doors uh, running on. Yeah, disconnect those. I don't want doors consuming power. Uh, because that is a um, let me have a look at that now yeah 1.6 ah oh, dear me right okay so in that case I'm going to 
move um let's see power 1.6 so that is 2.3 so if i add that so that gets joined and then i will disconnect uh wire just go back to wire come on come on get get there why well, she's got no power saying it's got no power anyway so let's just deconstruct that wire okay yeah so what we've got there we've got 1.7 and then we've got 1.8 that's happy days happy days oh hang on that's done there that's done there reduce it a little bit further by doing that so all the doors are uh, not uh, powered um, and that will reduce the draw quite substantially so right okay so what was I saying um, my biggest bugbear is uh, about power these these uh, heavy watt wires um, they're changing these to handle 20,000 kilowatts so at the moment it holds why are you flashing 1.9 you know what you, you're fine um, so it's going to be able to handle uh, 20 kilowatts opposed to the 2 kilowatts um, which is good in the sense that you can then um, have you know reduce the amount of wires you've got running around all over the place but the negative side of that is you can't have it these 20 kilowatt um, wires running through walls and floors so they're going to be on vis they're going to be visible like this is constantly uh, which obviously has a negative impact to the, the decor um, again so that's uh, a change but also with that change so you can have this 20 kilowatt wire that you can't put through walls you're not going to be able to use that 20 kilowatt wire to go straight into a gas filter or a, a gas pump or electrolyzer or um, um, anything else that takes electric. Uh, it'll only, I think, run into a, a manual generator, a um, hydrogen generator or a coal generator from batteries. So what it'll mean is you'll wherever you've got energy being created, you're going to need to have this high watt power uh, connecting to it and then wherever you need to have your applications sorry your uh, is that the word applications your appliances that's the word I'm looking for uh, you'll need to put that cable into a transformer to reduce it down to a lower grade um, wire now they're saying that I think you can get about 20 um, what's going on here that's still getting it damage from ah oh, it's damaged because of other things right okay do you know what I need to put a filter on there quite quickly because uh, that's going to cost me um, yeah so it means that you're going to have um, to think more about your um, the uh, way you actually manage your base in the sense of all your wiring etc uh, as in you're gonna have to um, make sure that um, you've got everything up and running properly uh, and you need to plan your wiring um, which will make a massive difference uh, I'm quite looking forward to that one specifically because I really find that the um, uh, electric system as it is at the moment doesn't work very well for me uh, and I get rather frustrated from it so I'm looking forward to that one um, what else have we got going on um, uh, oh yeah we've got currently a geyser that produces steam which gives you clean oxygen we are now going to have a new natural gas geyser, or geyser, however you want to say it. Uh, but at the moment, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work because um, it's not been... Oh, I've got power going through that, I have, haven't I? So I want hydrogen being filtered off it. 
Um, let's make sure this is working. Come on. Come on, go and do the actual for cast vent. Um, because that's going to be one of the new buildings that's going to be announced on the next live stream. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to um, moving forward. Oops, go on the right one. Perfect. There's a lot of carbon dioxide coming into here now. It's coming out of this one. Maybe it's getting through these tiles. That in there. I don't know whether I mentioned it before, but I was receiving a lot of um, water damage, water pressure damage, from um, these water pipes here. Just zoom out a bit. It gets a bit noisy. Um, and it was when the pipe was actually empty. Uh, which was rather frustrating uh, why the actual um, uh, tiles were breaking up when there was no pressure there whatsoever so that's a little bug that was doing my head and that's why it was it's been uh, done the way it is so that's all the new stuff that I can think of uh, so what new things have I done in the actual base you've probably seen the fact that we've got some water have I got that pump it's disabled building. I didn't want that one running. You were numpty. Um, basically got this water that's coming in here. Uh, this is a new line that I've put in. So let's just follow this back. So we've uh, got uh, a new... We opened up this area down here for this uh, ice biome and, and retrieved those um, uh, weeds wart seeds and then we've just allowed this to flood with the clean water overflow. Um, so that is then getting pumped I think this is the colder yeah so the cold one is getting pumped straight into these and the warmer one is going into this area uh, so that was the idea of that was to try and stop the amount of time that the dupes are running over here to collect water from this section here so that was taking a lot of time uh, to do that so that, that's that's what the idea of that was um, we've uh, in, uh, created this uh, basin here to capture uh, the polluted water so it can be recirculated over these appliances. Uh, that is because uh, what we have found awesome, just rid of these. as this water was falling down and hitting here it was bouncing up like nobody's business a bit like this does occasionally um, where you can't really see what's going on properly and it was just it was horrendous in the way it was mixing up the water all the way through it. So that was kind of uh, the reason why I stopped that. Now, I've put additional batteries in and put some hamster wheels in to manage the power on this side because I didn't want the pumps, which are purifying the water and also pumping the water. Let's just go to the electric circuit. So I didn't want anything on this circuit um, to be uh, affected. Um, by the other circuits and I've just noticed something that I want to get rid of because it will be draining so at the moment that's saying it's 2 kilowatts this building it's disabled but you know what it's still using energy consumed that shouldn't happen so let's uh, destruct remove that because I was keeping it there just in case these uh, pipes let me just go back here this hydrogen reduced um, its temperature greater than where it is currently about 210 degrees because what I've actually done is I've extended that down into this cool into this water down here um, and while it's been going down into here it has not reduced the um, temperature of this water at all uh, which is quite a surprise so this hot water comes in now this side and it works its way across to where it's being cooled by the liquid oxygen that is falling in there it's not being cooled by any other way uh, so this pipe is not it's not giving off any cool air or anything so that was a surprise because at the top up here it is um, and we're finding that uh, 
we are getting, um, as, as I removed before, carbon dioxide uh, freezing on the pipes and having to be dug off. But down here, it's not doing anything at all, which is kind of um, frustrating uh, that it doesn't have that sort of benefit. Because uh, if we look here, I think, uh, what have we got in this in here? What have we got anything? Oh, we've got some. can't see what I was looking for okay so it doesn't have any effect so my thoughts of using this to cool water ain't happening not by having the pipes going round and these aren't insulated pipes going round it's just stand it's the same pipes that are in here the uh, granite pipe so it gives off as much heat as possible here it works perfectly but in here it's not doing a single thing which I was very surprised about. Um, so, what else is going on? Oh yeah, this this is not even reducing temperature whatsoever. Um, I think I could remove the whole lot and allow it just to be um, encapsulated um, and I let it just rip out without anything there being a problem. Um, and maybe on the next series, uh, with a new agricultural upgrade, I might look at doing that, creating smaller ones so that we can actually um, fit it into um, more areas say inside of the middle of a base sort of thing that you want to try and cool an area so I think that might be very useful for then um, let's have a look what else we've got going on ah yes uh, we've got these geezers in place um, I put some tiles here these are granite tiles in the hope that I was reading somewhere that it actually for every tile they go down, it reduces the temperature. And I've been trying all sorts of things with these geysers, and also I've dug out an additional one up here. And I've basically put this uh, granite tiles going all the way down on a, on a, on a, on a test run. Uh, so it's literally about 20 or 30 tiles. And do you know what? It wasn't making a blind bit of difference. Um, I saved that because what was, was happening uh, you would have, let me see if I can show you, right, okay, here, this is a perfect example. So on the outside, it's 95 degrees, on the inside, it's 94, okay, maybe not that one. Um, polluted water, come on, give me the temperature. Uh, polluted water, 24 degrees, on the outside, 94, uh, 94 degrees. So what was happening was, the tiles that they were actually sitting on, uh, the water's cooled down but the tile that bounced over like that then that um, maintained its temperature so that was a bit of a, a little uh, pain to deal with but hey ho um, so what else have we got done I've uh, obviously I've brought in additional dupes to manage the workload because things are getting a bit uh, out of hand um, and I think that's really all we've done now apart from introducing this new um, uh, oxygen and I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to quite like that setup uh, it looks a lot cleaner uh, than this one and I quite like it looking like that so I have a feeling that I might make some slight changes to this one in the next episodes etc but uh, I think we'll call it a day for there. Um, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. You can hit the subscribe to see more. Next episode, I think I need to sort out my food uh, storage. Because uh, this doesn't really work that well. It was just a, a test to see where, how well it could work. It does work. But I think the more most um, effective use of um, the... Uh, uh, what's the word I was looking for um, the vacuum because this needs to sterilize this is technically sterilized you see here it's got a sterilized atmosphere also on the next episode I think we're going to look at the food storage and try and create a more suitable food storage solution uh, because at the moment uh, these weeds warts don't really well they do a job but you can't have that much food next to them so I want to um, have a 
storage solution that is sterilized using CO2 and I'm thinking I might actually use this area here I have some weeds water at the bottom anyway just to uh, keep the area cold but I think the CO2 would sterilize it sufficiently anyway but either way ah that's it another thing that's in the new uh, new um, um, release some of you may be used to um, having your ration boxes like that um, so this is this area is totally sealed off and your dupes put food in and take food out through the gap I'm afraid to say that's been uh, kiboshed uh, in the uh, next upgrade so you're gonna have to manage your uh, food um, storage uh, more effectively moving forward so as I say if you like what you've seen give me hit the subscribe to see more and give me a thumbs up that's Murphy out.